and first and foremost, I want to give Kyle Halal, Yahweh, Ba'a, Shem, Yahweh, Shadda's all praise to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the Lord in the cause Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to teach you blacks, whites, and native Americans that you are the true people of the Bible, man. That's right. All right? You are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. We got the bear Billiken, you know, on 51st. Madness is usual. You know, niggas acting like niggas, fighting each other. But don't nobody want to go fight the goddamn white man. That's right. Right? Don't nobody want to go fight their damn oppressor. They just want to turn the evil eye towards their brother, man. Right? And that's a curse, man. That's an indicator that you're a damn Israelite, man. All right? From the various 12 tribes, man. So what y'all need to understand is you black slaves and living Americans have to come back to the most high God, man. Right? You have to come back to following the law, statutes, and commandments. It's the only thing that's going to burden us in your society. Okay? It's a wicked ass society at that, man. Right? That promotes violence. Promotes drug usage. Promotes drug dealing. Right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26. Uh -huh. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse, right? This is the most high God talking to the Israelites, right? He said, I set before you a blessing and a curse, man. Right? You have a choice, right? Go ahead. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, what's going to happen? Which I command you this day, and a curse if you will not obey the commandment. So if we don't listen, right, we're going to be cursed. But if we do listen, we're going to be blessed, right? Okay, you got a question, buddy? You said what? Speaking Arabic or something? Okay, speak English. I don't speak Arabic. All praise to Allah. Oh, okay, all praise to Allah. Who, who is Allah, brother? Allah is the only God? You sure about that? It's only one God, right? So do you know that over in Mecca, you know, the Kaaba, you ever heard of the Kaaba stone, right? You, you familiar with the Kaaba stone, right? Right, 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 right. You know about it, right? So, you do know, you do know that they make a pilgrimage of that and they bow to it, right? Right? Now, do you read the Bible? It doesn't matter how many bricks it is. It doesn't matter how many bricks it is. It's our idol. That's what I'm getting, trying to get you to understand. It's our idol. You're bowing to it. Somebody give me the law where it tells you not to bow to anything, you know what I'm saying, that's made in this earth, man. Right? See? What does green grass have to do with it? First you're telling me about Allah, then you're telling me about green grass. Green grass makes you grow. Give me that, man. Go, go, go ahead. Exodus 20 and 4. Exodus 20 and 4. Baby, this is in the Torah, man. Who made that Bible? Who made the Bible? The Israelites wrote the Bible. That's brother. right. The Israelites. I'm not an Israelite. Prove it. Prove, prove our things. The Bible says prove our things. Prove that I'm not an Israelite. I can show you in this Bible right now that you're sitting up here telling me about Allah proves that you are an Israelite. Yeah, I, I really can, but go, but go ahead. Give me what you got. Exodus 20 and 4. Uh-huh. 80. Go ahead. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Any graven image. Go ahead. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the earth beneath. Right? Right? Hold on, brother. You're doing the brother, right now. Right? So what do they do to the cobblestone, brother? What do Muslims do when they make their pilgrimage? Y'all do. So you took your pilgrimage. You went to Mecca, right? You did? So you bowed to a damn stone. <laughs> right? See, somebody give me um where it says uh, you will you, you will serve gods, you know what I'm saying, that your father's not, man. See, these are the curses that we are under, man. We're in the stone. Yeah, give me that man right now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Uh huh. This is how I know you're an Israelite, but because you're stuck in that damn Islam. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth unto the other. That's talking about slavery. That's how he scattered us. From one end of the earth to the other, right? Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there thou shalt serve other gods, right? Go. Other go Hold on, brother. Let the scripture come out, and I got you. Go. Don't even worry about it. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even word and stone. Even word and stone. What does that word represent? That damn Christianity, man. Right? 
and that damn stone, that damn power stone, you ain't supposed to be down to it, man. That's right. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Our people are sick out here, man. We want to follow everything else but the damn Bible. You want to be everything else but an Israelite, right? Come up here telling me about some Allah, right? Allah is the universe. Allah is who? Allah is the universe. God, you, you okay. Allah is my God? No, Allah means power in the Hebrew. I am a God. I'm not right. the most high God. You are a God. I, I'm a, I'm a, that as well, and I'm a priest. Okay. Right. I agree with you on that. The Bible tells me I'm a God. Come here, give me that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. Uh -huh. I have said, ye are gods. I have said, ye are what? Ye are gods. Ye are gods, right? I'm a power of being, man. Right? I'm a God, I'm a king, I'm a priest, man. All right? All right? Yeah, I'm that too. Okay? Well, what do you mean? I, I, can't, I can't be a king. I can't be a God. <laughs> hey, man. Yasha Allah means what? He the prince of the power, man. All right? Yasha Allah, man. The Hebrew Israelites, man. Our gods, princes, kings are in this earth, man. It's always an old joke. You know, they think he knows something. You know, I've probably been out here drunk, you know, halfway out of his mind, man. But where the hell was Allah just not that long ago, man, to stop that goddamn fight to happen down there? That's here, right. Man. Right? You know? I don't see no damn Muslims out here, right? Trying to teach their, trying, trying to look their people up. Right? right? But where he is, in the highways and byways, teaching the world, man. Give me what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 2. Uh -huh. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. That they have a zeal for God, right? You have the fire to work. You, you have the fire to seek out God, right? You're interested, but what? But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. This is why you see brothers and sisters walking around with uh, so-called Jesus tattoos on, man. Right? Crosses and everything tattoos on you, man. Talking about, you, know, so you got Psalms 55 on the damn arm, man. But if you don't read the tale, you would know you ain't supposed to have no damn tattoos, man. That's right. Right? But you got a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. Right? By the Chief Priest Alazar Wan Lawyer, aka the Gorilla Hebrew. And I'm just letting y'all know I just dropped my official clothing line, Urban Gorilla. Go to urbangorilla.com right now to check us out, man, and pick something up. There's U R B N G R L A. Dot com. We got all kind of items for men, women, children, even infants, as well as fragrance oil, smell goods. You can also check out Hebrew is a Light Clothing Co., another Sakari business on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, you can hit up DeaconSakari.com to get your plug on the scars, the music, and the children's Bibles. Thanks for your time. All praise to the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.